Well, hi, and welcome to Jim's Radio Shop, where I'm hoping to wind a new coil for the shadow meter on the Philco 91A. <laughs> Start to forget which radio it is I'm working on here. I got too many going at the same time. So, I took the old coil out of here. You saw the video, you saw me unwind it, and this is what I'm left with. That's it. That's the core of the coil. The sides are in pieces, like the coil form are in pieces. Not much use. So there it is. That's what I'm starting with now. Uh, thanks to some help, very helpful discussion. From, uh, with Dennis and Bobby. Thanks a lot, guys. I um, was encouraged to continue on with this with the wire I have, number 36 AWG. And I went out and I splurged and I bought bobbins, plastic bobbins. So, what I'm hoping to do, to do in the next little while is figure out a way to wind those bobbins. The number of turns is something in the range of 5,000, so I'm not going to do this by hand, that's for sure. And, and I have watched some videos on the internet of other people doing it. Uh, Lockmeister, if I've got it right. I hope I got it right. Uh, he went through a very involved process uh, because he wanted to count the number of turns. Uh, <clears throat> he unwound. The old coil, if you saw my video, I didn't unwind the old coil, I just cut it to pieces and cut it off the form and really all we ended up with was this. I suppose if I had un undone it more carefully, maybe I would have ended up with the form still. But you know what, I think these are going to work out. So let's, let's get started. question is, will this go into this plastic bobbin? And that's kind of neat. It's got little holes there. It's kind of neat. Okay. Well, you know what? It's got insulation on it. it looks like paper. Mm -hmm. We need to get it off. Oh, yeah. We won't need that. Now I'll try and keep an eye on my video uh, and, and spot it when it quits because if you've been uh, watching my videos you know I'm having trouble with my uh, camera stopping and sometimes I don't notice it. Let's see if this will fit. Yeah, it's pretty snug. Wow, you know what? <clears throat> I heat this guy up. I bet you I can just slide him right through there. So let's assume I can do that. I'll get that through there. Don't have to have it installed until after the coil's mild, and that's a good thing because I, I plan to, to use my drill. Here's my drill. Yeah, I plan to use my drill here. <coughs> Hang on, hang on. There we go. 
So I plan to use my uh, drill to spin this. This is going to be the, uh, the engine of my winder. And I, I, just an easy thing to do is just put a bolt through it and put it on. I think that's going to be easy. I don't think that's a problem at all. But obviously I can't do it with this end, so we'll set that aside for now. I think I'll, I'll, I'll get it inserted and remove it a little later. Um, well, you know what? We might as well do it right now, really. There's just not much advantage to waiting. So... doing this on the basis I can pull it out and I also have three more of these so what does it matter maybe this isn't maybe this is thermoset plastic <laughs> Plastic mode. Okay, another another approach. That would be to fix the diameter a little bit. Same thing on this side here. See what's happening here. Okay. <laughs> Don't push so hard, number one. I was pushing awfully hard on it like a dummy. So I won't push so hard with this one.
I suppose if I don't make this go in there pretty easy, there's a chance after I get this coil all wound up, I'm going to break it trying to get this in. Much better to break it now than then. I don't seem to be getting too far. round of applause. <laughs> okay, I don't want to break that coil. In that coil form, not after putting that effort into it. Okay, that's the boring part. ready for the exciting part now. Oh, I'm not going to do this. That's the exciting part. Let's see. Um, let's see. First I'm going to bring these guys back up. Get out of the way. Put this here. I'm going to be working from the vise, which is over here. Yeah, something like that. So put this in there. Vice. Can't say I've ever viced my this forward. I can tip this forward and get it level. Screwdrivers. So I, I kind of see the wire uh, spool um, could be here like this, and then the wire is going on over here. 
but in between, I'm really suspicious that you need quite an apparatus to control the tension. And so I was thinking about this quite a bit. And I think I know the basic elements of it. That's why I have these. Uh, these are little weights. And I think they're going to play a role in this. Um, there might not be enough weight. I, I, I'm going to have to experiment a bit too. So first I got to... Uh, I gotta somehow support this. Here. <laughs> right there. Okay, okay. I got an idea. Up in my ceiling here, I have, I have these clamps. Great big clamps. So, I get one. Because I can use it to. Uh, the, uh, maybe if I had a square handle to be better. Square, a square handle to screwdriver here. Let's see. I've got a couple here. Let's go with the orange one here. This guy has served me well. So I just kind of clamp it in like, like this. I'm looking for all kinds of places in this mechanism where there's releases, where the tension can, uh, be, uh, jumps in tension can be compensated for easily. This one has a lot of momentum, it's a lot of moving metal here, but the interesting thing is, if, if I pull on this, I change this a little bit here, I have to pull a lot harder now. It's got an interesting little adjustment to it, sort of. Okay, that might probably be helpful. The other thing, this is all kind of wobbly and that's not so good. I, mean, I want that to be a lot less wobbly. So uh, some washers, I know, just some big washers on another. When I was, I used this thing here when I was doing the uh, RF coil. fits right on the uh, screwdriver. Get it done. Hopefully that won't catch the wire. Top is wobbly and that washer is not big enough. Oh, 
Oh dear. Okay, let's see how that goes. Look at that. Excellent, okay, excellent. Now, the next thing is that the wire is coming, it can't come straight. I want to have a weight hanging from it. I think I need something that holds the wire like about here in front of this reel. Maybe even go back a little bit. So the wire comes over this thing. Now, an interesting thing happened when I was winding the other coil. Uh, the wire was uh, casting over the top of the le leather uh, case for my uh, tablet, which you're, which I'm shooting this movie with right now. And you know, dragging it through leather has an interesting effect. Dragging it through leather. Dragging it through leather. So, so what if we drag it through a finger? I gotta, I gotta hold a glove up like that. How am I gonna do that? that like that. And it'd be good for this to have some kind of hey some kind of spring this. Let's see what kind of springs I've got here. But, uh, I got this guy. Okay. So I would attach this. How? That's a good question. How, 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 how? There's a twist tie. Just like oh, it's okay. I think that's gonna work. Maybe it, my vision may not be in your head, but uh, if it isn't, pretty soon you'll see what I, what I've got in mind here. I think the heaviness of this tool is gonna be helpful too, and again, causing another. Sort of like uh, I hope that spring doesn't break. Okay. Now I gotta attach the spring to the ceiling in some flexible manner. Um, I got some chain over here, which I've never done anything with. Piece of chain. I got this clamp. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lay it right, right like this. I cannot see at all what you're seeing. Okay, but uh, I'm 
assume my camera's working and you're seeing something. I could put this. Got you guys lined up right on it. I can put it say, right in here. Sorry if you can't see anything right now. I'll just be a second. That's coming. That's coming right in the right area. I think that's good. Okay. okay if maybe there was lighting blasting away there or something. I don't know. I'll watch that video myself. There wasn't much lighting up there. So, but that's okay because now. This. I'm gonna attach this. Well, that's easy. Well, it just hooks on like that. Here we go. <laughs> this is the craziest. Oh, it's adjustable height. But the chain. What a choice. Excellent choice. Well, yes. a little off. Oh, I just have to move this uh, the bracket on my rafter. I'm just going to slide it down a little bit. Uh, the bracket, the uh, clamp I'm using. Oh, it's a little heavy here. Okay, how's that? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I'm just going to feed the wire through here. I have a bad feeling about this right now. Okay, coming down. Weight hanging here. Wire coming up onto the spool. Let's put the uh, let's put the spool on. I think we want to do it with a bolt that really fits nicely in there. Okay. There it is. Look at that. Don't they call that a carriage bolt? It just goes. Oh, perfect. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. We don't want it sliding. The nut's not going to reach it. Just hoping the nut will center the other thing. Yeah, it did. There we go. I don't need to tighten it very much. So that goes in here. Another issue is starting the wire and where the wire comes in and out. Now, there were some holes in there I saw before. So I think I can just feed some wire out, out the hole. Yeah, I can put the hole in the back side here, I think. And I can just wind the excess wire around here and get out of the way. And it's pulling. We can try this first with no um, Excuse me. No, none of this weight. Hang an idea, and we'll see what happens. Okay. So let's get the wire. The thing about doing this is, I guess you have to have the wire fed through all the time. I don't have to feed it through this. This this splits open. So okay, here comes the wire, and believe me, it's thin. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, it hooked on those uh, pieces of tape that I uh, put on there. Okay, now I gotta take this wire, feed it through the hole. So I can no longer even see. There's one. There it is. Let's see if I can feed this through the hole. I have lots of it because I'm gonna have to figure out how you know how to terminal it, Term terminate it. I guess that's the right word. Terminate, terminate it. I'm gonna put some tape over that. Ooh, if I put uh, powerful tape like this when I take it off, the wire will come with it. So maybe I won't tape it. Okay, now we'll feed the wire through the uh, that glove here. Now the last thing is steering the wire onto the spool, and I'm thinking I can just do it with my fingers, but that's probably foolish thinking. That's what I want this to do, and that's why I need the weight, of course. Now, hmm. that's interesting. You just happen to have this hanging around here. Okay, so. Nowhere's near enough weight there. Nowhere is near. So we'll hang some weight on it. What I'm waiting to see is how much weight will pull that. I can push actually on and find out. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that sound, but the, now I almost pulled the wire back through here because it's not wound at all on here. Let's put a few turns on and see what happens when we do. I should lower this because it's it's uh, too much back pressure. Thank you. 
when I lift it with my finger, I can feel the variation in the strain on the wire. Well, that's working pretty good. Can't quite see it, can you? Oh, son of a gun. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so here we got it. My lamp on the wrong side of all this apparatus. I don't want it to interfere. How's that? Okay, so glove and wire, wire. Away we go here. Swinging is causing a problem. As it swings in its limits, it applies uh, more tension back. So, uh, I, I need to fix it um, in place. Uh, maybe if I, if I tie it back this way somehow, to, to restrict its motion more. Um, I, would, I wouldn't want to shorten this in some way. So I think I, I would want to uh, somehow tie it back. We'll just use a clip lead maybe. Phooey. Um, let's try. Let's try this. Because I was just getting it up to speed where where I could actually do it, and I got a little worried that it was going to break. And I've already got ten percent of it on. So that, that restricts it just a little bit. It has a bit of spring to it too, you know. Okay. Let's, let's see if we can get a little closer here.
Okay. okay. Let us continue. I'm going to go for it this time, I think. Somehow this has gotten... What's, what's putting the big twist on it this time? Okay, this is not good. This is not good. I'm glad to look more like that. Oh, for crying out loud. I clipped the glove. Like flip it on this side. Once it gets pulled forward, it'll be turned this way. It might might be another one of these. Uh, what would you call it? Negative reinforcement. Positive reinforcement. Thought I'd give you another perspective here. I think I can put the camera somewhere, somewhere else here. see the coil, the, uh, you know, the supplying coil, but get a little better idea of what I'm doing with my hand here. system works for me. The wire coming off the main reel, I 
suddenly it bind it bind it. <laughs> it became bound. Now you couldn't see this, but the reel tipped forward like this to relieve the uh, like an emergency uh, release of tension. Now this is a big problem. This is how far I am on it. That's about halfway. As it gets, uh, there you can see it's doing a lovely job. It's just uh, it's working really well. So I'm really happy with the whole thing. What has happened here? What has happened here? Don't like this one bit. Oh my God! It's pinched right in there somehow. The heck am I supposed to do about that now? Ah. Just when you get everything the way you want it. I didn't expect that. I never expected that to happen. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I left it looking at that. Come on! All I did was just take the uh, take the reel off. Ooh, something funny going on in there for sure. Now that isn't the strangest thing. Let's see if I can get, get you guys to see that. happened here. I really don't want to break this. Even kinking it's bad news. So if you, you might not be able to make this out looking at it because it's flat for you, right? It's a flat view. But you can see that there's some wires actually coming right around the lead wire. Why have they done this to me? Why? Well, the wire is quite loose at the end here. It's it's gone loose, right near the end of this uh, supply reel. Man alive! Okay, so now I got to do microsurgery on the supply reel. <laughs> Or cut the wire. No, I don't want to do that. Trying to figure out what happened here. The wire, the wire I'm playing off appears to be entirely looped under another wire. And now I'm playing with real danger here that end up with a knot. I'm just pulling them off the end, you know, and that, that ties a knot. There, I got it free. There it is.
well, I really don't know what happened there. Um, how that could happen? Or do they do that periodically? Maybe they do that periodically as a, a stopgap like against the wire break or, or something. I don't know. I, I would think this is one continuous, un-welded, uh, unsoldered, unconnected piece. But, you know, maybe not. Okay, so let's, uh, before I start up again, I had to stop for a minute, change the battery in the drill, which had worn out. And I'm going to start up again, but before I do, I'm just going to go over again how I've got this working. So I'm powering the the uh, coil uh, with my drill, obviously. I'm just letting the wire play off of the uh, spool that it came on. I haven't done anything too special here, except I put some nice washers in the end that work really well. I had this really neat uh, sort of safety situation here where if the wire should pull taunt, this will begin lifting forward. And uh, I'm going to set it up a little higher here. That also adjusts the angle of the uh, of the reel. But the most important part is this glove, this uh, which is causing the uh, tension, fairly steady tension. I've got the I've got it spring loaded. So and I've got it steady. This is to steady it. So let's go. Got about another 2,000 revolutions to go or so. And now I got a new battery. Better be pretty careful now. Especially when that wire is coming off the bottom or top of the uh, reel. Here we go. I'm correcting the alignment now through here. So this was off to the side. It was pulling the glove over, and that's going to increase some tension, a little extra tension that I don't need. There's lots of tension. I want less tension. This is better. So the great thing about having your hand in, in this kind of system is uh, you have an absolute direct feeling of what's going on. It's a lot better than any instrument or anything. I'm going to cut my finger off here. I'm going to pick up the face. Okay, so here's the uh, here's the coil, and I think I'd like to do the uh, the nail polish treatment to it before I do anything else. So I'm just gonna tack the wire up. I'm just gonna tack it here like that. Okay, so here's the coil, and I, I've taken this off, removed the two nuts, and put it back on here. And I'm going to uh, uh, put nail uh, polish onto this now. I, I want to. I don't want this uh, coming apart in some way. I want to get a little bit of protection on it too.
Look, yeah, I think that's good. I'm not sure how I'm going to uh, fix these lead wires just yet. This one I could bring up. I'm going to wrap it on the turns. Do you think that would be a problem? What I did was I, uh, I just brought it up from the center where it's coming out, up over the side, and just started it around in the, uh, in the fingernail polish. Wow. And left a shorter piece hanging out. Uh, that buys me a little bit now, in the sense that the bulk of the wire is protected. If I work on the end and I mess it up, I can peel it back a bit, peel it back a bit. So I'm uh, pretty happy with that result. Got to leave it now. And, uh, oops, right. Let it dry up. Thanks for watching.